Good day everybody and welcome to Kampala Road. Um, today on my workbench are these two culprits and uh, to be fair the locos are fine, it's the decoders that are an issue and they are TTS decoders, surprise surprise. I run Z21 and these two decoders have failed. Um, I'm just going to go through a checking procedure uh, which I'll film and uh, you'll see and uh, we'll come out with uh, whatever is wrong or right with them at the end and any questions. So um, um, hope you enjoy this and help if required maybe at the end of the video. So what I have here is uh, two of my early TTS decoders, uh, 31 and a 47, that's a Vitrain 47, and a super detailed uh, Hornby, which I've had a few problems in the past. But in the last two days, they have both failed. Now I run um, Z21, and I know it doesn't like TTS decoders, and uh, I have been told that the TTS decoder is not NRMA compliant, which may be the reason. So on the right-hand side, the 31, I can get it to work on the programming track uh, with the Z21, and it'll do everything. It'll run and do all the sounds. I can change the CVs. When I put it onto the main track, nothing happens, not even the lights switch on. And uh, uh, with Z21, you have the option of programming on the main each locomotive. And I've tried that, and it can't find the loco. With the Vitrains one, um, I've always had problems with this. Um, I've programmed it with the Elite, the Hornby Elite, and it's fine. Uh, it'll run on my line. Uh, my sorry, my layout with the Z21, but I can't change any CVs. If I put on the programming track, it just will not find it. Or if it does find it, um, it comes up with some very strange CV settings. So it's a bit of hit and miss. And that's also with a couple of other TTS decoders I have. Um, and I should point out that I'm having problems with locos where I retrofit TTS decoders. I have some locos which came with pre-installed, like the City of Birmingham and the P2, and they're fine. Um, I do have retrofitted locos, another th couple of Class 37s, a 47, Helgen, and they're fine too. Um, but I am having a few issues. I've lost three TTS decoders through this, and um, these two, are, as I said, just packed up in the last couple of days. Right, just as a little demo, I'm going to uh, show what happens when I switch on the lights, for example, with the Z21. So I've got this, uh, sorry, the, the Vitrains on the Z21, I'm going to switch on the lights. And there you can see a flash. Now I don't know why, and that, it does that on the mains as well. Um, it's only just started in the last couple of days, because it's normally a pretty reliable uh, locomotive. But I'm having a lot of issues with Z21 and retrofitted TTS decoders. If I switch on the sound, let's see what happens. Nothing. If I try another function, there's a horn. Nothing. Sound again. Nothing. I turn off those lights because I don't like it doing that. Um, and it does that on the main layout as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset both locomotives using the Elite um, and see what happens, whether that has any impact on the decoders. Okay, I have a jury rig with the uh, Elite. Um, I've connected it roughly to this piece of track. 31 is there. I've now got to read the instructions because I've completely forgotten how to do this. So I'll be back in a tick. Okie doke. Uh, correct page. Excuse me if this seems a little bit boring, but I'm just going to run through resetting the CV8 to 8 to reset decoder. That's the quickest way I think. I'll try then on the main layout with the Z21 to see if there's any response. So here we go. Um, Loco, press direct, here we get direct. Uh, press control for your address. Rotate control to CV. 
I forgotten all this. Press control for CV right. Oh yes, I'm beginning to remember. Press control again. CV number eight I want, so I'll just rotate that to number eight. Press that, rotate that to number eight. Press that to reset. And I'm now reset. So what I'm going to do is check on the main layout whether that actually works. Hello, mate. Yeah. Okay, look. Um, obviously, resetting there, I've had to reset the number to 31 on the chip. And now I'm going to see if she works. So I've reset on the Elite. I'm going to do sound because the lights won't show. And there is nothing. Bugger. <laughs> uh, GTS decoders are the bane of my life. There's nothing at all. So what I might do is I'm going to put her on the programming track and see if there's any response there. Okay, look, back in a second. Right, after 31, I've uh, done the same to this Vitrains 47 with a TTS decoder in. Uh, reset it with the Elite, reset it to its uh, ID number, and we'll try that one. Let's hope for the best. Okay, um, let me find this one on Z21. I've uh, reprogrammed it to a number. Now, if you remember, the lights were flashing, and they still are. This is not good, is it? Put the uh, sound on, there's no sound. So even the Elite will not sort it out. See if there's any movement. I'm just uh, putting the accelerator on here. Nothing. All is not well in the TTS Kampala Road camp. Uh, just to make sure I hadn't done anything wrong, I have done both locos again on the Elite. Um, clean the programming track, check the connections, and as you can see, I'm getting the same result, and that's the same on the 31, there's no response. Just going to put them on the Z21 programming track and see what happens. Okay, uh, 31's on the uh, programming track. I have a setup on uh, Z21, and I'm going to do the sound, you can't see lights. There is no... Oh. There you go. So I've just turned on the sound there. There's no second function though at the moment. I can't get it. Oh. There you go, the brakes work, but I can't get the horns to work. Oh, there is a delay. I beg its pardon. Try that, leave it from. Now it's beginning to work. So I can get it to work on the programming track. I can even get it to run. And it's very, very juttery because I haven't changed the other CV150, etc, 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 which you have to do. So what's my problem? Why can I not get it to work on the main line with the Z21? It was working, and as I said, both these locos aren't. What I might try and do now is set up a little Elite a bit of track with the Elite connected and see if it works under the Elite. Without wanting to repeat myself, I've just again put it on the main line to see what happens. Here is the... Uh, Controls, I will press 
startup, nothing. A horn, nothing. So there's nothing and I don't think it'll move. Nothing. So as I said, what I'm going to do is uh, jury rig up a little piece of track with the Elite and see what happens. Right, so I've jury rigged a bit of track to the Elite. There. Let me find the Boco on Z21, there we go. And let's hold our breath, see if she works. Oh, I've forgotten how to put a loco in. What do I do here? 31. Okay, now let's see what happens. She works. <laughs> Can you believe that? Bit jittery, and that's because the other CVs haven't been changed. Um, well, it immediately tells me that the Z21, which is on its latest uh, firmware update, doesn't like it. Now, what I'm trying here is the sound. And it's fine. Well, how about that? Why did it not work with the Z21 when it did work? Which is very jittery, and that's correct, because you have to change from CD150 to CD154. Alright, let's um, see what happens with the Bytrains 47. So, I don't understand that because it has been working for several months with the Z21. Unless I'm doing something wrong, which I don't think I am. Alright, let's try the 47. Okay, I haven't done this, so this is the first, this is live if you like. Um, I've programmed the 44 into the Elite. Let's put some power on, see what happens. She works. Oh, there was a bit of a shift there. Let me just in the wrong direction. She's trying. I can feel. Nope. She's trying. I can feel the vibration in the motor. Well, I did, but well, that's gone now. Let's just try a function. Function 1, nothing. So this has got a different problem. And I can feel that's getting very hot, so I've just taken it off the track. So maybe that chip has blown and the roof here was hot. So that uh, may be a stuffed up decoder um, and requires some further investigation. I tell you, I spend so much time fiddling around with these things, I do absolutely nothing on the layout. Okay, excuse the blue tack, uh, but I have decided to press ahead with this 47. If the chip goes up in smoke, it goes up in smoke. And let's see what happens. I shall apply, apply some power. Okay, I'm going to... Well, function one's on, so it's obviously not working. This is on the Elite. I'm going to put some power on. So, I, the Elite, you can't really tell what speed step you're on. But I have put uh, about halfway now. And that's getting hot. And some lights flashing. Ouch! That is getting very hot. Let me turn that down. 
So, I take it the that is extremely hot. The chip has malfunctioned, maybe. Now, has the Z21 done that, or is it just another TTS? This will be my third or fourth TTS decoder malfunction. Um, but that is obviously not working because it's just heating up, and if I left it, it would just go up in smoke, I guess. Um, Gonna try function zero. There you go, the lights are flashing. So I think that TTS coder is um as they say in Papua New Guinea, bugger up. So if anybody's got any answers for me, uh, as I said at the beginning of this video, may need some help and obviously I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, under the elite she works fine. Under the Z21, she works on the programming track. Used to work on as more, and I've got videos to prove that. And those of you who have suffered my videos have seen it. But now no longer functions on the main line. Resetting the decoder doesn't seem to help. Um, not sure what to do. But uh, I'm just thinking to myself that uh, if this one is inoperable. That's five TTS decoders over the last 12 months that have failed. Could have bought myself a very nice decoder, 47, 50 or whatever, for the same money, or five of these, I guess. I'm not sure whether that's comparable, but uh, I think you know where I'm going with that. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's just give it a go. She works with the elite. Very very but, uh, Anyway, I'm going to persevere. Um, not today, I'm fed up with this. Um, another day. Unless I get some suggestions from out there in, in uh, ether. Uh, to see what I can do to resurrect it. As I said, it did work, it doesn't now. So I'll close this video with a working train on the layout. So if you suffered this all the way through, thank you very much. I know I seem to be full of problems at the moment. I guess that's the joys of modern railways. Cheers for now.